All right, so I'm gonna make a little video on, seems like a few people, this might be a tough one for a few people, using uh, command line navigating with some of the DOS commands in this lab. So I'm gonna make a little video to kind of help you guys through it a little bit and go through some of the, how to do some of these commands and talk about what are some of these commands used for. So as we get in logged into the pod and as we look at our directory commands, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this and let's see if we can There we go, it can be a little bit bigger. So if you want to make your font a little bigger, you just right click, go to properties. Here you can change your cursor size, your font, so you can have a different set of fonts, larger characters, change the layout, however you like to do it. All right, so this command dir, if you, one thing about DOS commands, they are space, important so you have to do spacing it's not necessarily upper and case lowercase in linux but it is space sensitive so like an example if you're not sure how to use a command you just do forward slash question mark and it gives you the command switches so sometimes you may have to use a command switch sometimes you don't so this will show you all the different little switch settings and how this command works so if we just do dir directly it just shows us the content of where we're at. So it's important to pay attention to a couple things when you're doing commands is where are you at on your prompt? So down here on our prompt, we're at the C colon backslash, you know, IT e user. So you need to make sure when you're doing some of the stuff, it's from the point of view of where you're at to where you want to go. So in the example here, it's having us make a couple folders. All right, so we're gonna literally type in MD. I'm just gonna move the mouse out of the way. MD stands for make directory. And if you do forward slash question mark, it's gonna show you the different commands and how you do it. Pretty simple. So there's a couple different ways you can type in the command if you wanted to. So we can just do MD and then we would just do the name of the folder. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be uppercase, lowercase, and just follow along with the lamb. There we go. We've now made a folder. So here's the thing about command prompt. It will reward you by giving you an enter button. If you made a mistake, it rewards you with a message. So whatever you type in, it just does it. So also you can up arrow as your friend, you know, so you could up arrow to scroll through your history and down arrow, scroll back. So then you could just literally do something like that and now do three so again now if we do a directory listing now we can see there's our three folders in the off the root off the user folder off the IT user folder so you have to remember these things so now we created all these folders Awesome sauce. Here we're gonna go through some, using another command called cd, change directory. So again, if you use a forward slash question mark, it's gonna show you some of the different examples and it's gonna tell you some different things you can do. So, so here's an example. In the lamp, it's telling you when you're gonna do, use the dot dot, so here's what it's telling you. So if you want to specify, you want to move up to change to the parent directory. So think about it, think of, think of a file system as an upside down tree. So the closer you get to the root of the trunk of the tree, the higher level you are. So as an example of this, if I want to go up a folder, I can just type in cd dot dot. Yes, if I can find the dot dot button. There you go. Now you can see that it took me from CD backslash when a uh, user's backslash ITE user to now just C colon backslash user. 
Now, if I want to go back to there, I can just type in. I don't have to type in uppercase or lowercase, but in Linux, I have to. Once I typed enough, I can just hit tab for tab completion. There we go. Now, if I want to go like CD backslash, that takes me to the whole root of the hard drive. So here we can see there's where it's taking me back to the root. So now if I want to get back to that folder, so I can do it two ways. I can just type in CD user, or users, I guess. <laughs> and then again, if I do a directory listing, there's the directory. So now if I want to get back into that user file, I can type in IT user. And now if I do a directory listing, I'm back where I was. Another way I can do it is just literally go CD backslash. And now I can just type in CD. Uh, if I'm not changing drive letters, I can literally just do user slash IT and hit enter. So there's a couple different ways we can do these things. So if we wanted to get into another folder within a folder, so let's say now I'm in here and because the folder is at the same level, I can just literally type in CD and go IT. Tam, it's gonna take me to the first one, which is fine. There we go. So let's say I wanna go from here to folder two again. All right, so now I wanna go from one folder to the other folder. So if I wanna go CD, then I can just do like an example, dot, dot, backslash, and then I can do IT, EF, folder two. So there we go. So you can see here what I've done is by using this command, I said CD dot dot told it I wanted to go up one level. And then the next part is I said, okay, from there, get me into this folder. So that's what I've done. So I moved from one folder to the other. So it is important. So you don't want to have not, you know, sometimes people will tend to jam things like that. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Uh, or, see, you gotta have proper spacing. Some parts it'll, it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. So just be careful when you're doing this, making sure you're following the steps and also paying attention to, you know, do these things. All right. So here we're just using basically the echo command. What we're doing is piping it to a text document. So echo just means put something on the screen. So here we're just using again the echo command. We're just saying this is doc one text and with the greater than what we're saying is pipe this to doc one text so we didn't get an output on here so let me back up here for a second without the output that's what the command would do so now if I do a directory listing we can see there's the file and now if I use a command called type this works for text documents and all it does type is just say, you know, take the content, put it on the display for us to see it. So there we go. So then if we want to make multiple files, we could just up arrow again, change up arrow change. There we go. Oh, I guess I didn't realize I was using So, so even though you're up arrow, you gotta pay attention to what you're up arrowing to. Like I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right, so there's just some ways of navigating files. Again, we can use the type command like I like I've showed you. I guess you can use the more command too to view the content, and then copy and delete. 
I do have some separate videos on, on these. I'll post a link to those. Uh, that kind of go through some basic uh, copy. They're older videos, but the, these commands haven't changed. So I'll share those with you guys too. So, all right. So copying is, again, you have to make, uh, make sure where you're at to where you're going. So you can copy files, you can copy files, basically what we call a wildcard. We can copy files with a particular type of uh, file extension. So there are a couple different ways we can copy stuff and move. So I just wanted to kind of focus a little bit on navigating the folders here. Uh, again, the copy part, not too hard and rename so i'll make you know i'll probably make some other little videos for this uh to kind of show you guys some of these other ones but i'll also link to my copy ones that i've made too they're not necessarily following the slab but just kind of give you a little idea all right